Taurus, welcome to the first two weeks of November uh, love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Hope you guys are doing good. Thank you for joining. For those who are new to my channel, I always go by my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it is energy, it, it is fluid, so it can be vice versa, uh, but it's energy that I pick up from you directly or someone from within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. So just keep that in mind. So Taurus, I actually didn't pick up very much. It's like, <clears throat> Just was about to say, there's not a whole lot of talking going on. My throat chakra got a little unhappy. <coughs> Taurus, I've been good all day. I've been good all day, which is why I'm working again today. Hold on a second. Mm. <coughs> there's not a whole lot of talking going on, Taurus. I feel like someone's standing their ground, like very like stoic. Like it almost feels very much like the emperor, like someone who just kind of sits in their spot, sits in their place, and doesn't say shit. Doesn't feel like they doesn't feel like they have to say shit about anything, which is really interesting. Um, but I do feel a torn energy, Taurus, about like, do I like where I'm at or do I want more? Kind of like, I've got a lot. I'm genu generally happy, but I could, I could have more happiness, or could I? You know, it's like someone's going back and forth on on expanding their happiness or expanding their business or expanding expanding and adding to their life someone's really kind of debating if they should okay this could even be someone who's like single and has a lot of stuff in their life or has a lot of people in their life has a lot of joy in their life and they're like eh do I need to be in that relationship I got a lot of happiness as it is or it could be that person who's like yeah I've got that one location for my business do I really need another you know it's like weighing the pros and cons of expanding in some way shape or form but I do feel it's about emotional expansion but whoever's in this indecision is not talking about it they're not saying shit. <laughs> they're like, they're giving it to themselves. And I feel like they're trying to decide on their own, trying to decide without any um, interference or without any like unwanted opinions, which I think is actually fairly smart. You know, it's like people don't need to know all our business, right? Towards people don't need to know all our business. Um, I did see a snowflake and I kind of thought that was cool. So this energy could be playing out through to December for a lot of you. Just keep that in mind or through winter, right? Snowflake winter. Um, but snowflakes are very unique, which is why snowflakes are so cool. Um, Taurus, you or someone you're connecting with can see someone's, it's probably starting to, hmm, it's starting to see, see someone's, <laughs> can I get a new tongue, please? Can I get a new mouth? Is starting to see someone's uniqueness. Someone's uniqueness is being noticed, huh. being noticed, being seen, and being appreciated. But again, there's not a whole lot of communication happening here. I, I almost feel like someone is really happy in their single, like honestly, like getting more down in the nitty gritty detailed energy of what I'm feeling. I'm really feeling strongly like someone's happy in their singlehood. They're noticing someone who looks pretty damn special. And they're like, hmm, <laughs> I could, or I could just sit back and, and enjoy what I have now. Okay, I kind of feel like that's where someone's at. But Taurus, let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle here. It's so funny when they show me food because I'm almost positive these are foods you guys are like eating as you're watching me. Like I, I just saw popcorn and ice cream and licorice. Are you having like a good like little sleep overnight? What's going on? I was like, oh, those look yummy. Uh, anyway, let's get into the pre-shuffle. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, I honestly feel like someone's looking at someone else like they're a snowflake. Like, not in like a, I just realized how that sounded. Not in like a, not in like a fragile way. Well, if, if someone's looking at a female in this way, like, oh, they're, they're delicate. Like, they're looking at them very, very feminine. But it's just like, oh, that person's really freaking special. Or there's something really different and bright and unique about that person over there. Like, that's kind of how that feels. That's how it feels. Yeah, yeah, I keep feeling this life, but do I go for it? Nah, I've got a lot. Or I've got a lot of happiness. And do I want to fuck up my happiness? <laughs> Someone else is thinking that too. <coughs> oh, Taurus, come on. I've just been working on my throat chakra for the last few days. Um... Like, I'm so damn happy. Do I want to fuck up my happy? Do I really want to fuck up my happy by going for this person? Like, that's really how it feels. That's really how it feels. Oh, Taurus, you're killing me. <coughs> Taurus, can you just talk to, talk to this person, please? Mm. Mm. Or hopefully this person starts talking to you soon. <clears throat> okay. Ugh. 
Losing, placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. First chorus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. I just saw it. I just saw a peak. I just saw a peak of it. <coughs> the, <coughs> the twin flame, divine counterpart, spiritual ass connection. Come back. Um, also a card about ascension and spiritual growth and spiritual path. Kind of like the Tree of Life card in the Tarot of Dreams deck, if anybody work with that deck. Um, wanted to make a little appearance there. I almost feel like it's a dare from spirit for this person. That's kind of how it's feeling. A little bit like a dare, like, ha ha ha. We know you want it. <laughs> we know you want it. If you go for it, if you go for it, if you go for it. You could you could you could be further on your path you could have more you could have more it's, it's honestly like almost a dare from spirit which is kind of funny and this person's i'm getting this person's really stubborn you could be with another taurus like i said this could be vice versa right but it's like someone's like mm, i'm staying right here i'm staying right here until i really come to a firm decision that i'm not sharing with anybody <laughs> so funny very taurian any messages for taurus Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages. Come on. Come on. Do it. We know you want it. <laughs> Aries energy. Uh, you could be a cusper, by the way. Also Aquarian, because this is a Uranus card. Taking that leap of faith. Dangling that, that carrot of a snowflake. D dangling that snowflake in front of this person. So interesting. Ooh, someone likes someone's legs. Mm. Sorry, I'm just like tapping into that. <laughs> yeah, someone really, really likes someone's legs. Despite height. What the hell is that about? Despite height. I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, that wanted to come through. That was weird. That was for somebody. Oh, we got a peeker. Hold on, where'd that peeker go? Oh, we got two peekers. Whoa. Here's that person sitting in their chair, stubborn as hell. King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air with the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. This person's look, it's so crazy. This person's looking at the snowflake like, I want it, but I don't know. I want it, but I don't know. And Five of Cups, it's almost like they're already grieving the loss of it. For some of you, this King of Wands, like Taurus, if you're the snowflake, we'll just say the snowflake to not confuse anybody. For some, this King of Wands has already, um, been involved with the snowflake okay already been involved with the snowflake here um and lost and lost for whatever reason or another i feel i really feel like if they lost the snowflake that this king of wands actually pulled back because king of wands in verse is someone who's very non-committal very non-committal does play around a lot can be very flirtatious but also very unpredictable in their energy like they can go from like zero to 180 you know what i mean and this person is the one that's feeling the loss and looking at the snowflake like i don't know I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. For some, this is the, the snowflake and the king of wands definitely has a history. Okay. For some, not for all. For those where there's no history, this person's looking at the snowflake like they've already lost their shot at the snowflake, even though they haven't taken the shot. Interesting. Wait a minute. Oh my God. I thought I was seeing snowflakes. <laughs> I thought I was seeing snowflakes in this card. I don't know if it'll... Uh, I don't know if it'll focus, but you guys see what, I oh God, it's so blurry. Hold on. Try it one more time. Maybe, perhaps. Do you see what I mean? Like, I thought I was seeing snowflakes there. That's so funny. Okay, anyway, keep it going. Please bring forward messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I do feel like this King of Wands thinks, I can't. I can't open my mouth, I'm sorry. Thanks <laughs> that the situation is fragile. They keep showing me that damn snowflake. <clears throat> Could be someone's nickname too, like in a cute way. Two of swords in reverse, making that decision. Moon and, Li Moon and Libra energy. <sighs> Moon and Libra energy, making a clear headed decision to do something about this. This king wants to go for it. King of Cups, yeah, King of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, King of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, this king really wants to go for it. 
this king wants to go for it, but God, I can feel their split. It's like split decision. Could be Gemini, and by the way, I'm getting like that split of the twins. I know Gemini's. You don't really like that, but it's just true. Um, do I do I do I just keep with what I have, or do I go for it? Do I keep with what I have? Do I go for it? And for those of this history, oh God, like whatever happened happened, right? Would they accept me back? Would they accept me back? Yeah, would they accept me back? Is it worth the risk? Someone's got a bit of an ego problem here. Someone's got some pride. Ooh, we got three major arcanas that just came out. Death in reverse, Scorpionic energy with the star, Aquarian energy, and then the freaking tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Oh man, this feels big. This feels like just one big fat event wrapped up into three major arcana um, cards here. I feel like this I feel like this king eventually does decide to go for it. Yeah, I feel like this king eventually does decide to go for it, but there's a hell of a lot of resistance to it. A lot of resistance to it. And it's funny because I was like saying snowflake and like, you know, brightness. It's like this is the star. <laughs> Literally the star. Snowflakes do look a lot like stars when you look at them close up. Okay, well now now the snowflake is called the star. Now we'll just call them the star. Okay. Um but with the tower, I do feel like this king will approach. But there's a lot of resistance before that because of the split decision energy. Okay? All right, guys. I just heard awakening as well. I just heard awakening. For some, this king of wands is going through a spiritual awakening, and that's prompting this king to go, go towards this star snowflake. Come back. To go towards this star snowflake, whether they have a history or not. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get into your reading, Taurus. Hi. Okay. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Okay, messages come through for those who need to hear them. As you heard me set the intention. If it's not your message, it's not your message. Don't try to make it fit. Especially if you don't like the message and it's not resonating. Why would you try to make it fit? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay? Um, please check out any other reader here on YouTube if I'm not resonating with you. Okay? We are reading energy, as I said before, so messages can be reversed or vice versa. Switch the roles if you have to. Um, <clears throat> excuse me also guys don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy and this is for the first half of november but we all work through time and energy in different ways um so this can apply at any point always watch a reading if you're guided to watch it okay time and energy ain't linear okay any messages for taurus i just saw a camel a giraffe that was weird a camel and a giraffe. Giraffe as a totem is someone who's very intelligent and can like see all sides, see all perspectives, but is also very intuitive. Like they can see every component to it, a, a situation or a problem. Uh, camel is more of like a resilient, it's a resilient kind of energy. <clears throat> you, you've got one person who can see and understand everything and who's probably very intuitive in their own right. And there's another energy here that just relies on resilience getting by on the basics getting by on very little i feel like the person who gets by on very little is actually this king yeah i feel like that's actually this king and i feel like they don't show that like they don't show that they have to this is someone who likes to think they have a lot more than what they have or they like to show that they have a lot more than what they actually have but what they really do is they get by on very little. They get by on little resources. They get by on the basics, but they let people think otherwise. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> this giraffe might know. <clears throat> Feeling like the giraffe is our snowflake star energy here. I feel like this giraffe knows that. I think because, yeah, I feel like the giraffe is just intuitive. It doesn't even have to be intelligent, but I think this giraffe is intuitive. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November? I'm also picking up on energy of like, how do I say this? I don't want it to sound as, as like, bra as like crass and brazen as it's coming to me, but it's like, I don't need people. I don't need people. I don't need others. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need you. I don't need other people. I don't need a helping hand. This is definitely that king energy the king camel and we the other character just to keep up is our giraffe snowflake star <laughs> so funny how these readings come out any messages for taurus any messages for taurus <clears throat> regarding love for the first half of november any messages for taurus 
Any messages for Taurus? Someone is keeping... Okay, they're really keeping a close eye, though, on the snowflake. This king is keeping a really close eye on the star slash snowflake. Uh, this star could be an Aquarius, just because it is, like, the Aquarian card. Um, or it could be someone in the public eye. It doesn't have to be. It could also be a star seed. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, man. Four of Wands, Aries energy, and we've got the Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Then we have the Four of Cups, Cancerian energy. This Four of Wands is a foundation. It's a foundation or a relationship. It's something that had to be built, okay? And like I said, for, some, for quite a few of you, there is a past history with this king and this star snowflake. Keep in mind, Taurus, uh, Mercury's retrograding through your seventh house. If anyone's gonna have a Lazarus, it's gonna be you, okay? <laughs> just saying, just saying. And for, the, for my newbies who don't know what a Lazarus is, it's basically someone that you've been, that you dead and buried and they're back from the dead, okay? Uh, with the Tower and Four of Cups, it does feel a little bit like a rejection or an abandonment, okay? <clears throat> or a breakup, a breakup of some kind. I keep feeling awakening, though. Why do I keep feeling awakening with this? Because Four of Cups is an energy of just kind of like, you're being offered something, or there's something on the table, or you possess something already. 555 on the stove right now. 555, that is the... the angel number that equivalent that's equivalent to the tower i personally have been seeing that for like days now anyway come back come back to ours um <clears throat> four of cups is possessing something or having something offered to you that you don't really want even though it's your best option like think of it that way it's like you've got other stuff going on or you got other stuff in your possession you're like yeah that's what that's more what i want like your attention is more on those other things that are not actually better does that make sense so in a way it is it is rejection it is abandonment here so someone could have broken up with you or you could have broken up with someone or someone could have become very bored of a, of a foundation here but either way there is a tower moment and it is due to someone not really wanting to pay attention to it okay but i feel awakening here i can feel it someone could be waking up to the fact that oh shit maybe that thing i rejected was actually really solid you know it could also be that we're gonna dissect that a little bit more <clears throat> ah, communication Taurus any other messages for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November that's too many cards that's too many cards any messages for Taurus two of pentacles in reverse Capricorn energy this is making um your load lighter you know like clearing things out of your routine clearing things out of your routine dropping a pentacle essentially this could be dropping this relationship dropping this relationship or trying to make room i'm also i feel like it's more about making room i feel like more it's more about making room so what else we got <clears throat> any other messages for taurus any other messages for taurus regarding love for the first half of november any other messages for Taurus regarding love? Wow, for the first half of November. Shit. All right, so now we have three of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy with the star, Aquarian energy. This is someone breaking away from other people. Like I said, dropping something or making room, making room, like pulling away from other people, pulling away from working with others or dealing with others. But the star, the star came out again. This is the star. Yeah, I feel like this is more for those who have a history of this person. I feel like someone literally dropped the star. And then we get two of wands in a verse, Aries energy. That two of pentacles in a verse, the two of wands in a verse, it's very similar energy. Um, but this is more about choosing a path. Choosing a path, and then we have the knight of cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Overall energy, we have two of swords in a verse, moon and Libra energy. Wow, with the queen of cups. Cancerian energy, Kelsey Pisces or Scorpio, High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Here is your star snowflake. Okay. Here's your star snowflake. We've got three twos. All three of them are in reverse. A decision's been made. A decision's been made in relation to the star, in relation to this giraffe here. And this star, just keep calling on the star. Uh, has full understanding of a situation. There are no more secrets. All truth is out. 
All truth is out. I feel like this this star, this Queen of Cups, is receiving this information. I don't think this queen is the one making a decision. I feel like a decision is being made in relation to this queen. There is possibly a breakup or some kind of um, epiphany within a relationship, epiphany within a relationship, leading to like realizing someone was bored or not happy. Dropping someone, I do feel like possibly dropping this queen. <clears throat> And then someone in the name of love is taking on a new path. <clears throat> and this queen has, has come into knowledge of that. That's what I'm feeling. But let's break these down a little bit more. Let's look at this tower. This tower is screaming at me because I keep getting awakening with that. Like someone woke up out of a coma. It's like time to get the fuck up. Time to wake up to reality and smell the coffee. Let's look at the tower card. <clears throat> And I feel a major need to communicate, guys. So someone needs to talk. Someone clearly needs to talk here. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower for Taurus. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the tower for Taurus for the first half of November regarding love. Tell me what this tower moment is. What's this tower moment? Yeah, I, yeah, now I'm, I'm hearing decisions have been made. D decisions have been made, a path has been chosen. A path has been chosen, a decision's been made. Tell me the tower for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. <clears throat> Excuse me, Taurus. Mm. <sighs> Time at the tower. See what we got here oh boy five of pentacles taurian energy and then we have the eight of wands in reverse sag energy miscommunication eight of wands in reverse <coughs> it's my it's my mercury retrograde card my designated mercury retrograde card yeah so I, I i feel like someone hit rock bottom here like there was a breakup of some kind someone was left alone essentially someone was left alone and <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god someone was left alone due to miscommunication or there was a lot of fighting leading to someone being put on the outside being left i just keep hearing left alone left alone left alone left alone and then we have the magician in reverse mercurial energy so virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio for me as a reader divine masculine energy if there was a breakup between this snowflake and this king uh it could have been because somebody was manipulative <clears throat> because somebody was manipulative um and someone kind of like to look at other options is what I'm getting, actually. Someone like to look at their other options. Let's see what else wants to come out. Tell me more about the tower for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me more about the tower. Someone could have gotten kicked out. It just feels very abrupt. Very abrupt. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Wow. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and Justice in reverse, Libra energy. Someone's looking at this and examining this. Like this is really unfair. I heard blame. I just heard blame. Someone could be blaming themselves for this injustice. I th yeah, I feel this king is actually blaming themselves for whatever this injustice is. This feels like a breakup. This feels like a breakup. This feels like someone gets tossed out or someone gets pushed aside. Someone gets left alone. And it's almost like someone's looking at their, what they've done. What they've done? Yeah, someone's looking at what they've done. And they are blaming themselves. They feel like maybe they were manipulative to someone. Overall energy we do have the chariot. Can't Syrian energy. Wow. Knight of Wands. Sag energy. Could also be Aries or Leo. Huh. With the King of Swords. Aquarian energy. Could also be Gemini or Libra. This is someone getting the hell, hell out of Dodge. <clears throat> so whenever this breakup took place, I, feel, I do feel like it was passed. Whenever this breakup took place, keep in mind we all work through energy differently. Someone left fast. Fast. Okay. I mean fast. <laughs> wow. Like I said, there could have been a move involved. I do feel that, like getting kicked out, kicking someone out, just leaving someone alone. Like, I keep getting that and someone's looking at what happened and they're like, what an injustice. But I feel like there's blame on the on the person looking at it. Like... 
they're blaming themselves. Let's look at what this injustice is. Let me use Lenormand deck for this one. Tell me about the Justice card in reverse. Tell me why injustice is here. Tell me why injustice is here. Compass heading in the right direction. Someone chose a direct. Yeah, I'm like, I keep getting that. Decisions were made. A path has been chosen. A decision's been made. A decision's been made. Tell me about justice in reverse. Someone, re it's almost like someone realized whatever relationship they were in, they were not happy. Um, they weren't happy there or they wanted something else. Because like Four of Cups, like I said, is looking elsewhere. It's looking at other options and not looking at what you already have or what's right in front of you. And someone's just like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Talking about justice in reverse. I mean, I can't, I can't believe, like, look at this energy. My, guys, look at this. Look at this shit. That's fast. That's fast movement. And a king of swords upright. This is someone who made a very logical decision and took the emotion out of it. Talking about justice in reverse. Ooh, we've got the birds. I love this deck. I still love this deck. This is a very special bird card. There's two bird cards in this deck, a normal one and then the owls, okay? This is like, um, this is intuitive communication. It's intuition. Think of it like very high priestess, which we have attached to this queen of cups, right? Someone's fo someone followed their intuition. Someone followed their intuition to where that they felt guided to go. To who they were guided to go to. Interesting. I just got a who. A who. <laughs> sorry i couldn't help it i couldn't help it i couldn't help it do that anyway sorry i'm being silly tell me about justice in reverse <clears throat> tell me about justice in reverse for taurus holy shit all right now we've got the stork with the queen of cups and the freaking star Wow, I got the chills. Uh, 17 breaking down to an eight, 16 breaking down to a seven, a successful path that's been chosen. So so someone is blaming themselves. I do feel like it's this king. This king feels kind of guilty. I, it's, it's almost like this king is leaving behind a relationship to, to go towards, <clears throat> to go towards someone to go, probably, I honestly feel like to go towards this queen of cups. Yeah. This king made a decision. This king like had an awakening within their own situation. It was like, oh, this is not a foundation I want. Uh, there are other options out there that I feel like I'm missing out on. Or someone seeing a snowflake, seeing a star. And they're like, I want that person. They're unique. There's something about them. I'm out. I'm out. But they're looking at what they did and they're like, okay, that was kind of fucked up what I did. Like that's how they're looking at it. It's kind of fucked up. But they know that they followed their, their own intuition. They follow their own intuition. The stork is an energy of fertility. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also an energy of change. I feel like a changing of partners, to be honest with you, especially with the star. Star in, star in this deck is very similar to the star in tarot. It's like destiny. It's fate. Six of cups energy attached to this as well. This person's following their star. Following their person. I'm not condoning any of this shit. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't condone switching up partners willy nilly. Okay. And you know your situation could have a lot more <coughs> <coughs> details to it that I am not picking up on. Okay. But I don't condone cheating and all that stuff. I'm just the messenger. Okay. I'm just the messenger here. Now let's go into this energy because this is clearly making space. This is clearly making space. If there was a third party situation, yes, someone is ending a third party situation and picking a person here with that two of pentacles by dropping someone else. And with that star, I can't help but get that star person, okay, of heading towards them. But, <clears throat> oh my God. Let's look at the two of pentacles in reverse, okay? <clears throat> oh God, Taurus, please talk. <laughs> Oh, please talk. Please start talking soon in this reading. Um, I'm going to use Gilded for this one. Tell me the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Tell me the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love for the first half of the number. Tell me the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. Tell 
Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Until a decision was made, this, like I said, this person was staying still. Like I said, very masculine energy. I'm sitting on my throne. Until a decision is made, I'm going to sit my booty on my throne. Not moving. Stubborn. <laughs> not moving and not saying shit. Until I make this choice. Until I make this decision. Until decisions are made. And once a decision's made, boom, they take off. <clears throat> Hold on, I put this back. There we go. Oh, tell me the two of pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Tell me the two of pentacles in reverse for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. <laughs> Nine of swords, Gemini energy. This, wow. I mean, this king is like, this king is very interesting to me. They're suffering in silence with their decision, not making a move until they make this choice. And then it's like, boom, they have this own, their own little tower moment of like, oh shit, I know what choice I need to make and it requires me leaving something I've already built. Because what I want is elsewhere. What I want is over there and I want that star. I can't believe how much star like referencing we have like just here on the board and illustrations. <laughs> Queen of Cups. <laughs> Can't Syrian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Queen of Cups is on this card. Queen of Cups. Yep. All over this person. Whoever this person is. This person that um, this king is very enamored by. I feel like they're very enamored. I feel like they're very enamored by this queen. They're trying to not be emotional about it. They're trying really hard to be like logical about it. But they're very enamored with them. Very enamored with them. This person that's like. This Queen of Cups, they are emotional, but they, they, they're they a master of their emotions. They're a master of their emotions. Um, they show their emotions. They're very nurturing emotionally, but they don't get out of control of it. If this person's hurt, they don't like, they don't just break down. You know what I mean? Time up. <laughs> wow. I love tarot, guys. I freaking love tarot. Hold on. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Aqua, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. Okay? Okay. Wow. From three different decks. <laughs> From three different decks here. Tell me more of the Two of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Tell me more of the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Tell me more of the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. So I got two more cards out here. I wow five of wands leo energy and then we have strength more Le a lot of leo energy all of a sudden just hit this i do feel a fight i feel an actual fight oh crap yeah and then overall energy we have a queen of pentacles in reverse Yee, capricorn energy could also be earth or a <clears throat> water here and then we have an empress in reverse libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy i feel like this is the energy that the king is leaving Whoever this king built a foundation with, this is it. They could have kids as well, but they don't have to. Um, Empress is someone who's committed. Queen of Pentacles is someone who's committed. In reverse, this is someone who's very upset. This is someone who um, feels like there's a sense of disloyalty. I don't know what went on between this king and this Empress, Queen of Pentacles. Anything could have gone on between these two, okay? But either way... Um, there is an energy of disloyalty between the two of them. And if the king is choosing this queen of cups slash star, that could definitely be why. But five of wands and the strength card. I mean, this is someone trying really hard to kind of tame in the conflict is what I'm getting. Um, like gain control over the arguments, gain control over the fight, over the fight and competition as well. I feel like this is coming from the king's energy, actually. This is coming from the king's energy. Typically, the strength card, this is the actual empress here typically so it should be the feminine energy this empress doing that but it's not i can feel it this empress is not doing that not doing that i feel like this king is doing that in order to gain the upper hand in this whole situation uh to try to leave this foundation and go towards the star uh in a in as graceful as a manner as possible again i don't condone any of this i don't i don't condone stuff like this i'm just a messenger okay you guys decide what you want and what's best for you. I'm just telling you what's, you know, the options at play. You're the masters of your own life. I'm not your mama, okay? Not your mother. I'm just your tarot reader, okay? Um, this king's really worried, though. This king's got a lot of anxiety about this whole situation. I also like this queen of cups has been very, very, very um, silent as well in this situation. It's almost like this queen knew better. Like, it's just best to not say anything. 
Like, almost like, it's best to just not be as involved. You know what I mean? Like, it's just best to not be involved. It's just best to not be involved. Uh, for those of you where this king is a new person in your life, I don't think you have any idea that they're actually leaving a foundation for you. My queen of cups. If this is a new person to you, you have no idea that they are about to leave a foundation for you. All you know is like, there's probably, there, there's something not right. And so I feel like this queen of cups is taking a bit of a back seat because this queen of cups kind of knows something's up and I don't want to be a part of whatever is about to be up. Very intuitive person right there. Very intuitive. And then we have the path that's chosen. So this person, this king of swords had their epiphany, had their awakening, uh, realized they were investing in a foundation they didn't want and that they wanted someone else. This queen of cups. Again, I don't condone shit. And we just went over the part of them making the decision. This is them taking the action. Okay. Action mode. We were in the mind space. Now we're in the action space. Okay. So let's look at this knight of cups and see what this king has to say. Mm, yeah, I'm feeling crystal visions. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Taurus regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me the Knight of Cups for Taurus Regarding love for the first half of November. Son of the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Regarding love for the first half of November. Son of the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Regarding love for the first half of November. Son of the Knight of Cups. And like I said, some of you, Queen of Cups, have a history with this King of Swords. Some of you do, not all of you do, okay? You'll know who you are. <clears throat> Time of the Knight of Cups. Four of Swords in Reverse, Libra Energy. Breaking Separation. That's what I'm getting with that. Breaking Separation. Um, either way, no matter which way you cut it, Queen of Cups, whether this is a new... Hold on. All right, he came out right next to you, didn't he? <laughs> Queen of Cups, if this is a new person in your life, there is already a sense of separation because they're in another foundation. I'm sorry to break that news to you, but they are. They're in another foundation and they have to break that separation between the two of you. You could also be long distance, but not necessarily. Um, for those of you who have a history with this person, it is breaking that silence and that break between the two of you. Because like I said, I don't feel a whole lot of communication between these two. I definitely don't feel a whole lot of communication there. Time of the Knight of Cups. Hi. Oh, Wow. The sun, Leo energy with the unknown card in reverse. Unknown card in reverse is known. This is all illumination. All, all of this energy together is illumination. Breaking the silence to bring knowledge to you. Oh, queen of cups. Hold on. Drop the card. Come on. Two of swords, moon and, moon and Libra energy. So this, so this king went from making their own decision, tangible decision, to actually clear stuff out of their life. They're, what they cleared out was a foundation. They chose that path to take action on. And now they bring this knowledge to you, Queen of Cups, for you to make your choice on what you want to do. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. So... Oh, interesting. We have three of wands in reverse, Aries energy, and the nine of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, there is distance here, like actual geographic distance. Again, doesn't have to be, but I do feel like there's a very long car ride, decent plane ride involved for some of you. Again, not all of you. Also a sense of internet. I mean, a little sense of internet. Again, some of you, not all of you. There is a sense of actual distance that has to be gained here to have this conversation to have this conversation and to dissipate the anxiety and fear that this king is having this king's not sleeping by the way um this king is not sleeping very well because their mind is consumed and like i said they're not talking to anybody about this until they make their own decision without inter allowing any other people to interfere in that decision making process so they're suffering in silence and so they can't sleep because of that time of the knight of cups Time of the Knight of Cups. Time of the Knight of Cups. 
Yeah, I feel like once this king makes actual contact with this queen in a physical way, because the wand, I'm getting a lot of wands here, a lot of wands right here, uh, in a physical way, their anxiety just dissipates. So I have the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Overall energy. The Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This King of Swords energy. The fact that they're in reverse... I'm kind of surprised in reverse, to be honest with you, because um, <clears throat> this person seems very reassured of what they of what they want, of what they want. They know what they want, and they decided to go. <coughs> Excuse me, and they decided to go for it. They decided to go for it. Why am I feeling an emptiness? Hold on. Why am I feeling an emptiness? I think this person is so used to holding back a lot and not revealing themselves and not being vulnerable that like once they come across this queen of cups like the star energy this star person snowflake person who is so emotional emotionally charged but in a very healthy way a very healing way queen of cups is very healthy was also in a very intuitive person and the fact they came out with the high priestess in reverse tells me that they are probably a healer as well like an actual healer or someone who does work in the mystical arts they don't have to um I think they can't help but be vulnerable. And that's very new to this person. And this person prides themselves on stability. They need stability. This person needs stability in their life. And while they're making this transition of making space by leaving a foundation to go towards this star person, that's very unstable for them. And they don't like to be there. And so they want a decision made as fast as possible. So Queen of Cups, they might pressure you they might pressure you, but the fact that the Queen of Cups, remember, eh, had two of swords and a verse next to them, right? Tells me this queen already knows what they want. Now that's going to be different for all of you, so I won't bother clarifying it for my kings that are watching, because I know I've got some kings watching. Um, that's going to be a different answer for all of you, okay? So, Queen of Cups, decide how you feel about this. Again, I'm not your mama. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you the options at play. It's up to you to decide what you want and what's best for you, okay? Uh, my Queen of Pentacles. I f Honestly, I feel like for a lot of you, this King of Swords is married. Remember, they're also an emperor. I feel like that this King of Swords is married. I gotta be honest here. Um, no, of course, not for all everyone, but it's a very heavy, you know, coupled, coupled, you know, running a household kind of energy. Um, my Empresses that are watching, I'm sorry if this is resonating with you to a T. Um, everything happens for a reason and you decide how you wanna handle this King of Swords, okay? <laughs> That's your life, not mine. All right, let's go ahead and get some advice. I thought we get a lot of advice cards. Oh. oh, this is interesting. A King of Pentacles in reverse was hiding in this deck. Taurian energy could also be um, Earth, <clears throat> excuse me, Earth or Air. King of Pentacles in reverse is not the greatest. It's like shadowy Taurus energy. Shadowy Taurus energy is very controlling, which is also an emperor, emperor in reverse. And they get, and Tauruses get controlling. Emperors get controlling when they don't have stability. This king, this emperor does not like being in transition. They don't. They don't like being in transition. They don't really love change. Okay, which I think is also why they're making this decision in silence um, and not, you know, having people affect their decision here. Um, but they don't like it. They they don't like change. And so while they're in this mode of waiting for an answer, Queen of Cups, just know that. They're going to be a little crazy, okay? At least uncomfortable. Any advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? 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 Oh my god, such a Taurian card. Beaver Spare, lay a solid foundation, energy of six. I'm hearing lessons learned with this. This is for my kings. When you build a foundation, if my kings if my kings have Taurus in their chart, you know, like if this is more for the cross watchers here, uh, you love building foundations. You love it. That's a very Taurian thing. They're all about building foundations, building homes, making shit last, right? This king put a lot of effort into the foundation that they are leaving behind. 
it's a lesson learned of if you're going to invest this much and start to build in your natural instinctual way, make sure it's actually what you want because this is a king who's realizing this is not what they wanted. They wanted a, they wanted the star, the snowflake. And maybe they met this person after the fact and that happens, that shit happens. But either way, if you're going to build another foundation with this star, just make sure it's actually what you want so that you don't do this shit again, okay? So you don't do this shit again. Any other advice from my Tauruses regarding this spread? Oh, Nightingale spirit, love is all around, 41 breaking down to a five. You guys know me, those have been with me for a while. This card comes out for me as a reader when there's very significant love interest at play. There's a couple at play. <laughs> there's a couple at play. Oh, okay, this, okay, this is kind of a sweet message that just came in. A little bit of a sweet download. Um, building with those who truly love you. Building with those who truly love you. Like I said, between this King of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles, there's a sense of, sense of disloyalty. Now, like I said, this King could be acting disloyal. You could argue that. But the history between these two, this King of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles, the person they're leaving a foundation with, that they had, that they had with. Oh, jeez, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, there could have been disloyalty going on for quite some time, okay? Because this energy was very clear. Build with someone who, like, wants to give as much and who loves you just as much. Oh. Any advice for Tauruses regarding this spread? Which is, no wonder this Queen of Cups is so appealing. This Queen of Cups is all about love and emotion. All about nurturing. A Queen of Pentacles usually is, but in reverse, they're very selfish. Typically. Typically. It's also my um, cheating spouse card, actually. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Any other advice for my Tauruses? Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Tauruses regarding this spread? Oh, nice. Sta oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I made a second video. I'm about to stitch it. Stag spirit. Uh, stag spirit. <laughs> Take the lead. Very alpha. Very, very alpha. Very alpha. I definitely feel like this is the king of swords energy of like, hey, just, just do it. Just get up and do it. But they're doing it anyway. This king's already doing it, right? What does that break down to? 15, 14, 13, a four? That breaks down to um, uh, found, um, stability and foundations. Stability and foundations. Yeah, this king's not hesitating. I mean, they're hesitating to make a choice because they're trying to figure out like the best choice and they're having anxiety from that, but that's normal. I would say that's fairly normal as they try to tame in the fighting and the tension and all that shit. Yeah, and then they go for it. Then they go for it. Any other advice for my Tauruses? Oh, of course. You see clearly now, Owl Spirit 43, breaking down to a seven, my High Priestess card, which, if I can hold this up, which we did have in this deck, along with, not to mention, <laughs> the Owls. I love the freaking Owls here. I love the freaking Owls. For some, there's telepathic communication between this King of Swords and this Queen of Cups. For some, not for all. But this is basic, oh, why is this reminding me of the Giraffe? What did I say, the giraffe? Like seeing everything, right? You see clearly now, seeing all the pieces to the puzzle, very intuitive energy, very intuitive energy. Um, why do I feel like this Queen of Cups knows a hell of a lot more than what they would ever say? That's kind of what I'm getting with this. This Queen of Cups knows a hell of a lot more than they're ever, okay, for my kings watching, pay, at pay attention. These queens know a lot more than you think they do, okay? <laughs> they know a lot more than you think they do. I don't think they knew the full details of whatever you were leaving, but they knew something. They knew something was up. They knew something was up. Interesting. Any other advice from my Tauruses regarding this spread? Skunk spirit, know your worth. 54 breaking down to a nine. Know what you deserve and what's really going to make you happy. Kings, you're learning this. My queen of cups, I feel like this is kind of a question for you. Do you want someone who's going to leave a foundation for someone else? Or are you going to chop it up to that shit happens? That's up to you. That's your decision. But this is basically on the table to indicate, hey, everyone better know their value and worth in this situation and act accordingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many freaking cards, Taurus. Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detour, 16 breaking down to a 7. I kind of like that this card just came out. <laughs> because like I said, King of Swords, you're looking at this queen like, that's what I deserve. Like, that's the kind of emotional nourishment I need out of a partner. Someone who's really going to be in it with me in an equal way and want to build with me because I want to build with them just as badly. Um, 
Coyote Spirit, basically, they know the blueprint. They know the grand design, and they throw surprises. They throw the curveballs to get you where you need to go here, okay? I feel like this epiphany is coming from this coyote for the king of, like, surprise! You thought you, thought you knew. You thought you knew. But did you know? Now you know. Kind of funny. But like I said, you all decide your own decisions. These are just opportunities. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Overall energy, wow. Big spirit, use your mind wisely. 47 breaking down to an 11. A lot of cards about intuition and being able to see and everything like that. This is, again, a very intuitive card, but also a very intelligent card. To use your common sense, use your mind here. Does all of this add up? right like for my queen of cups whatever they're gonna whatever the king of swords is gonna say does all of it add up enough for you to feel like your value is being taken to, into consideration and respected right king of swords this is you also kind of waking up to your own worth here you want someone who's of equal footing you want someone who's going to give as much as you're going to give that's what you want that's what you want and you're stepping to this queen because you look at this queen the star like Yes, that's what I want. That's what I need. But is it? It's all about making sure you're making the right decisions and being really smart about all of this, okay? Yeah, there's a big lesson learned for some, for some of you here. About choosing partners who's going to give as much as you're going to give. Support as much as you're going to support. And who's really going to do that for you? A Queen of Cups will give that. A Queen of Pentacles in reverse... Again, that can be a selfish energy, but it all depends on the history between this King of Swords and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the history between those two is going to be different for everybody. So like I said, yeah, this is an opportunity to go for a Queen of Cups energy and leave behind a Queen of Pentacles energy, a Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. But at the end of the day, you all know what's best for you and you all know your worth and you should know your worth. So you decide, Queen of Cups, if you're going to take this person's offer or not, because it seems pretty clear that the Queen of Cups already knows what they want but that's different for everyone's situation, okay? All right, guys, I hope you found this insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on um, Vimeo, Patreon, Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Tauruses. Namaste.